So anyone who's been watching my channel for the past year or so will know that I've done a fair amount of work on generators and wind turbines and all that type of stuff. I'm also an avid user and advocate of 3D printing and I love it as a method of manufacturing stuff in an additive way. On top of 3D printing, there are also many websites such as Printables and Thingiverse that allow you to download STLs and print items that other people have produced. And so last year, I built myself a modicle generator, a generator based on modicles. That's my type of coil design. And what I thought I'd use it for is to test different turbines. And so what I've done is I've scoured Thingiverse and I've picked three turbines that I think are quite interesting. I've printed them and today we're going to be testing them. So in this video, I will show you each of the three turbines and who they are made by. And I will go over the designs individually as well as test their performance. So the first type of turbine design that I'm going to be testing is this Savonius type uh, design. This is a vertical axis wind turbine with two blades and a gap in the middle. And what that means is if air is blowing this way, some of that will actually will actually move onto the, the other blade via this gap and that will actually uh, aid in the rotation which I think is actually quite a smart design. This is perhaps one of the heavier of the three designs, but I still think it will perform quite well. Next is the Yagrinsky turbine. This is something that I never expected would be so light as it is. This is the lightest of the three turbines. It's kind of similar to the Savonius in a way, except it has four or quasi blades it's two-sided but it has like four individual blades um, anyway it does have the, the gap in the middle like the Savonius so you do have that sort of um, uh, transfer effect but uh, supposedly according to some research papers this is actually a little bit more efficient than the Savonius style turbine and what some people have done is because this that it has these holes here, these are actually stackable. So you can print multiple of these and you can stack them in order to get a higher surface area on a, you know, or, yeah, have, you have a bigger turbine, higher surface area, and that will give you more wind power. So yeah, that's the Yagrinsky. And last but certainly not least, we have the Pelton style wind turbine. And this was created by none other than Robert Murray Smith with Thinking and Tinkering. And this is a really interesting design because it has quite small blades, but it has a lot of them. And the actual design of the blades themselves is really interesting. I, I imagine this is sort of a combination of a lift and drag type. The Savonius and the Ugrinsky are drag type turbines. That means wind pushes against them and that's how you get motion. Whereas lift type turbines rely on the vertical draft of the wind in order to push the turbine in a particular direction. And I think this is kind of a combination of those. Anyway, enough chatting. It's time to see how all three of these stack up.
So as you saw, Rob's Pelton turbine was able to reach over 22 volts on that test, which I think is really, really impressive. And I didn't even think my generator could go that high in terms of voltage. The others did fare as well, and I think they have some cool ideas that could be incorporated into a future wind turbine design. We had the Savonius, which was the largest of the three. We had the Pelton with the most blades, and we had the Ugrinsky, which was the lightest of the three, and had, in my opinion, had the most interesting shape. It's worth mentioning that in those tests, I also tested the lift force on the um, on the Pelton turbine, and it actually fared decently in that test as well. Anyway, I intend to use this as an inspiration for designing a turbine of my own and testing that. So look forward to that in the future. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed me testing three different turbines that I found on Thingiverse, and I will share the files down below from the different creators. Credit to them all. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been the first proper Adenia instalment of the year, and I hope you enjoyed it, or at least found it informative. Take care, and I will see you again soon.